Art Cart in the Park is brought to you by the Coos Art Museum. Don't forget to get your weekly free art kit while supplies last at one of these three locations. More information about times and locations are in the video description. Here we are in week number two of Art Cart in the Park and we're going to play with some watercolor. If you've already picked up your art kit, you may have noticed that your palette is a little messy. That's because previous students have used these palettes, but because we've had to do some changes with the program, we're letting you take these palettes home with you. Simply take a paper towel with a little bit of water and wipe those past art blotches away. Then don't worry, you're going to be putting your own watercolor paint blotches down there in just a minute. The other supplies you'll find in the art kit are a paintbrush, some paper, and a white crayon. What? A white crayon? Today we're going to be doing some watercolor magic and it starts with a white crayon. So how does a white crayon make watercolor magic? Well, a crayon is wax based and water doesn't like wax. It repels against it. So when you color with a white or clear crayon and then try to paint over it, the paint doesn't like to stick to the crayon and it'll keep the paper white underneath, which is where the watercolor magic takes place. The trick is it can be hard to see where exactly you have colored with a white crayon. So here's a tip. Hold your paper up to the light and you can see the wax reflecting back. So what are you supposed to create? Well, that is completely up to you. You can make designs, patterns, secret messages, whatever you want. Once you finish drawing with your wax crayon, simply paint over it with some watercolor and watch the magic appear. A couple more tips before you jump into creating. One, you're going to need to push pretty hard with your crayon. You want that wax to really get stuck on there. The second tip is try different colors together. Mix and blend your colors. This is all about experimenting and seeing what you can create. And we at the Coos Art Museum would love to see it, so make sure to share your artwork with us by using the hashtag CampArtAtHome on social media. We hope you've enjoyed the second week of Art Cart in the Park, which is brought to you by the Coos Art Museum and in part by a grant from the Three Rivers Foundation. For more information, contact the Coos Art Museum. So until next week's Art Cart in the Park, stay creative!